thank God, guys. My mom always told me, get here three hours at the airport. And I believe her because, I mean, shit, anything can happen. My flight leaves at like 9 and it's fucking 7.30 something, like 7.40. And I'm just like, please, Jesus, God, let everything be all right because i'm like i cannot i cannot i cannot i cannot so i'm trying to wait because now i have to go to the south terminal <laughs> and i'm not excited about that i fucking did not do any dishes so my house is gonna be <sighs> i can't breathe molded as fuck look at these pretty ass freaking little things these are so cool too bad I don't have time to stop and admire them, but yeah, those are really cool. <laughs> I was like, bitch, you can't miss your flight. I was like, fuck that shit. <laughs> bitch, you better go get that gas real quick. That's 10 extra dollars that you need for food money. <laughs> Cause I'm about to be in a room for fucking two days, two nights, two days, two nights, <laughs> five hours stay <laughs> and all that shit. So I'm about to ask somebody and be like, hey, I'm in the right area. Please tell me I'm in the right area. Okay, okay, yeah, South Turnbull shuttle. Fuck. I really wanna go pee right now, but I'm like, bitch, no. <laughs> Sit your fucking dumb ass down and wait, bitch. Hold it like a goddamn dog you are. No, I'm just kidding. No, seriously, I do need to hold it. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> I'm like this. Okay, look, there's other people here, so it's like, fuck it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Bye-bye.
going to be so proud of myself because I'm going to be like, I did this on camera. No mirrors included, which I probably do have one here in my bag. It's like, okay, too late now. You've already gone for it. This is the challenge of the day. It's at this moment that you decided there is no turning back. Doing a full beat in the middle of a terminal early in the morning. No, uh, no mirrors included. Challenge accepted. It's 2019. I think people have seen people do makeup in worse places. <laughs> A full on beat face. I'm about to even contour. Moment, I realized I was a motherfucking savage. No fucks given! So basically, I'm at the very end. <laughs> I wasn't done yet. I'm watching your head. <laughs> and we are doing a dual boarding process here at Frontier. If you see numbers 1 through 14, you board to the front of the aircraft. If you see numbers 15 or higher, you board to the rear of the aircraft. Come on, guys. So, guys, that means I'm somewhere in the rear. At least I have time to put on the makeup. <laughs> I've got time, I've got time. <laughs> this better turn out fantastic. Truthfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. This isn't even a good challenge because I don't even like I wear makeup a lot of makeup but I don't wear a lot of makeup does that make sense oh god just going in for it <laughs> They're like, they wanted to be a part and they saw me doing my makeup here. Oh my god, one of these is all skinny and long, and the other one's all fat and short. That's the way life works like that sometimes, right? <laughs> There you 
ago. That looks a lot better than what it was looking like a second ago. I erased the footage. Oh my god. Okay. Now we can move over to the powder and the baking. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit backwards today. Oh, the only thing that I wish that I had right now is freaking blush. That would be... So since I don't have blush, but what I can do is... Just skip that. <laughs> We're going for the full challenge right now. Full challenge! So I'm gonna... you're gonna do it you better do it full out don't mess around <laughs> I'm like, go for it. Go for it. We are boarding all roads and all zones at this time for Frontier Flight 1831 to Cincinnati at a gate at four. We are boarding all roads and all zones at this time for Frontier Flight 1831 to Cincinnati at a gate at one.
Somebody better watch this crap after I'm done making this because it is not for nothing. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna come without even hair. <laughs> That'll be freaking crazy. Girl doing hair and makeup right here. needs to be done or mostly done by the time I board this flight. This is final boarding call for Frontier Flight 1830 going to Cincinnati or at a KS1. This is final boarding call for Frontier Flight 1830 going to Cincinnati or at a KS1. <laughs> Wait, I'm coming. Can I help you? Hi, can I help you? I'm coming. Watch your head. to go get over here now it is done it's a wrap i know yeah, it's i know i am i got i'm trying to get my I hands know. together <laughs> do you need help with anything no thank you okay come on let's go thank you i'm like like her stuffing all my stuff together you'll be able to use the restroom on top on top
on the uh, plane. the plane as soon as you get in, right? They don't make you like sit and wait or anything like that. It depends. This is they're trying to get out quick. I thought they leave at 44. They can take off early sometimes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. No, I know. My first time over here. Okay. We close the we close the gate at 15 minutes. Oh, 15 so, minutes before. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Can I have this thrown away, or yeah. do I do it? Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> Look at this. Yay! <laughs> Bitch, you still didn't even finish your hair. It's all nappy on the fucking ends. I'm like, wee! I don't know. I'm fucking crazy, right? Like, bitch, who does that? You're sitting here doing your fucking makeup right before this goddamn plane is about to take the fuck off. Oh my god, look at this! I don't know how good I am to do it because I'm not like, oh, look, like, I go leave. It's like following orders and stuff. Look at the view. I'm a go star. contacts out they looked super pretty earlier but I still look pretty with my brown eyes don't I but anyways yeah I'm here extra extra early I came in here damn near 20 hours early before my flight but I was like fuck that shit cuz I'm not about to pay for a room catch an uber from the room all the way to the room all the way to the terminal I'm just not even gonna do that I'm not gonna do any of that I'm not gonna waste all this money but I am gonna waste money on some food and a drink right now <coughs> how did everything go in the study um, there was a lot of tension oh no no you're fine you're fine yeah there was <coughs> literally so much tension in there and I felt attacked because I'm a pretty individual and I literally kept to myself so I think sometimes people get intimidated a lot by that but I think oh no no you're fine I think maybe I should wait until I get home to go and have a full on um, testimonial about that so I'm here in the airport I'm kind of exploring a little bit and checking everything out checking out the shops and I ate at Outback Steakhouse last time and honestly it was just it was boo I was mad because I was like okay first of all Outback you don't have knives okay your menu is like half of what you would normally have you guys don't take any of the rewards that all Outback steak steakhouses take and not only that you don't have like a restroom inside of your restaurant and I'm like Ugh. 
and then up that you're paying for like what the airport prices are versus like the regular prices out there on the street so wow okay I'm about to go oh wait oh that is so creepy I'm like I'm seeing another place over here and it looks like the, look literally exactly the same as the other side so I'm in here I'm thugging it out until the morning oh thank you <laughs> yeah so I'm thugging it out until the morning chilling out here gonna be watching a whole bunch of videos obviously um, I mean I'm just happy I made it oh check this out that is so cool they have a lot of uh, Native American um, displays in here not only in Native American but they also have like the uh, like classic cars and not even like classic cars like old old cars so it's pretty amazing checking out like the scenery so it gives me time to chill it gives me time to like get my mind right and find and really awesome place to eat they have pizza but honestly I'm in the mood for like a good steak right now so yeah a really good steak and a really good margarita since I'm here I might as well spend some money that I didn't use on the room so it's still a win I'm really but this always happens to me right I end up going somewhere and I need the money that or I'm accounting the money that's in my bank account and then something pulls out and I'm like wait I should have more money into my account and this is what happened I had an annual fee come out of my uh, bank account for a freaking my fitness thing uh, center so I'm like are you serious so I'm like okay have to dig into funds and make a, a transfer so that's always nice and not nice nice that you had the funds available and not nice that you had to <laughs> dip into funds you didn't want to dip into so yeah I'm thinking this local the local looks really nice very upscale classy looking joint so I think I want to try that out let me see if they have steak though because that's what I really want because if not I'm about to go to Panda Express <laughs> which I don't mind as long as the food is, is fresh because last time I went in there the food was like not fresh whatsoever guys I look so pretty right now hey guys <laughs> and thank God for internet and that all these places are upgraded now so what airline are you flying I am so nice I'm talking to my friend again because it's good to have friends versus not having friends at all all right guys I'm gonna turn around and show you this place that I'm gonna check out so let's check it out bye bye Motherfuckers be like, oh, I got a mom gun. Real niggas be like, shit, I'm trying to get in that gut, bitch. What you talking about? Fake niggas be like, ah, oh, she's got a gut, man. So did I mention that I was here 20 motherfucking hours early? So guess what happened? I'm chilling. I'm in the area right next to the gates. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go. And then I'm like, well, I'm not ready to go, obviously. I'm still here. It's like, hold on, what time is it right now? It is 9.41 at night. My plane does not leave for another 11. Well, technically, you're supposed to be here by 7. So I have 10 hours until, you know, everything is available to me. So, because we board at 8 o'clock. So anyways, the point, motherfucking point is, is I'm already there in the gates. I took a nap earlier. You know, I went to the little massage chair. It's like $2 for eight minutes, 26 minutes for $5. That is unheard of. It's like the little massage uh, chairs that you go to at like Planet Fitness, which I love because they squeeze your fucking legs. They're like, 
it makes it feel so fucking amazing. It's just so wonderful. So the point is everything here in this goddamn terminal here in Cincinnati, which is northern motherfuck in Kentucky. Okay, it's not in Ohio. Ohio is across the goddamn river. Um <sighs> So anyways, the point is, I'm here, I was chilling, I ate at this restaurant, which, oh my god, please do not get mac and cheese and think that it's going to be good later on. I went back to the same location because I'm thinking, you know, it's an airport, and I'm not thinking in my head like, okay, they're catering to us. No, they want money, they're catering to money, so they do not have microwaves here, so bitch, if you got fucking food on you, you better eat that shit cold or just throw it away and get some new goddamn food, because that's how it is, which is weird because I think... I don't know, for some reason I'm thinking like at the other freaking place, I could have swore they had microwaves, but again, I'm tripping. So anyways, I go to like the little convenience store in here, you know, the little, I guess what you want to call it, it's like a little drugstore or whatever, and I'm like, hey, do you have a uh, microwave? They're like, no, we don't have a microwave, and I'm like, oh, okay, um, thank you. <laughs> so then I go over to um, Starbucks, because the ladies are suggesting Starbucks might have a microwave. I go to, I was like, I'll tip you, and they're like, no, but you can go to um, the local, which is the place that I got the food at, and I'm like, oh, shit, I gotta go back over there and show my face, like, really... Look, guys, I used to be a server, right? And I hate sometimes, like, if you have bad service, I will not even tip you. Like, you will might get a dollar, right? But if your service is great, I think, like, $5 and up is an awesome tip for anybody to have at a, um, a restaurant. So the point is, I was like, she didn't have the greatest service, but she had decent service and the food was pretty good. Really what made the service good is the hostess. She made it amazing. She even gave me free bread and butter. I was like, oh girl, yes, hook it up because she was supposed to charge. So, um, you know, a smile on your face and hooking it up, which again, it wasn't even the server, but it just made my whole experience amazing, which people, like I said, I'll say this, so many different times I've worked customer service I know how it is so it's like okay but at least at the positive thing is I still gave her a tip right that's that's what's important I still gave her a tip so anyways the point is I went over there I went back and I was like hey can I can you heat up my food <laughs> I'm still waiting on my plane and she heated up so I gave her like two extra dollars and I got my cup a little free cup of water and I'm like oh there ain't no shame in my game I might feel a little bad but I'm not no survival skills closed mouths don't get fed okay that's I feel like how successful people work is because you cannot be scared to assert yourself and understand that hello yeah bitch it is free I came over here and ate for you so you should there should be no problems of me getting what I'm asking for and I tipped you okay one really your service was not even that good so ta-da anyways boom bitch I got my food the food honestly second time around it was not good and like I said I got mac and cheese which the mac and cheese was not to die for but it was definitely fucking comfort food out the motherfucking ass okay this bitch had fucking cheese the damn you know how they put cheese on top and then they bake it so it's hard cheese then underneath they have like the saucy cheese well they put peas in it so it kind of reminded me of like an alfredo pasta with peas in it which was a very comforting feeling but it was all very cheesy plus they put bacon in it plus they put pulled pork in it and then on top of that they added freaking like the little um the french onion like the onion ring cr crumble french onion so it was again it was very it was thick it was very filling like honestly i was not even hungry but i was just like oh well just try and get your money's worth and finish this goddamn food that you paid for i paid Again, this I'm I'm in a freaking where am I again? I'm in the freaking airport. So you're paying airport prices. Really, what was the most expensive thing was the goddamn drink. My drink was as much as my food. My food was cheaper than the drink. I got a um freaking the pasta, like I said, or the pasta. The mac and cheese was $13.95. $13.95. The drink 
was $14 and some change. And then because I wanted to treat myself, because I was like, you know what, I need something to boost my self-esteem after this fucking bullshit ass study that I just did with these crazy ass bitches. Okay, so I freaking got myself a nice ass fucking molten chocolate cake with ice cream. That was so good bitch okay so let me tell you i really have not been drinking like crazy like i normally would in my life and mind you we've been taking medication for your liver so it's been cleaning i get in a sense i don't know what the fucking medicine's honestly doing but in a sense it's supposed to be like cleaning something in your liver restoring or blah 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 motherfucker i took like fucking like one sip of that goddamn fucking drink and I was already fucking tipsy I was like oh my god I was like ooh bitch kicked in okay I see why this damn drink was freaking $14 $15 it was just a regular margarita too like 1800 margarita and that was like the cheapest the cheapest um tequila that they had so I was like wow I cannot believe it it was it was honestly not good but just the fact that I paid that price and I feel bad I should have tipped a bartender because he's probably like this bitch right you know what I mean when they fucking work in a fucking high class joint you know what I'm saying or where people have money they expect money all the time I'd be like motherfucker which is understandable you know what I mean no you're not gonna be flying if you don't have any money you know what I mean um flying is for everybody though don't don't get me wrong flying is for everybody there are ways to fly like me a cheap ass over here okay don't get me wrong i am a bitty as fuck but i'm definitely down to earth and i'm definitely one of those bitches who want to save money exactly why i'm fucking stuck so the point is anyways i'm thinking i'm gonna be able to come out because i'm looking for water i was like i don't know this was so stupid and bougie of me i was like I was like, I don't want no fucking, I wasn't even being bougie, but I was just like, oh, look, I finally found a water fountain, but do I have a bottle to fill it up with so I could just chill? No, I would have to keep getting up, going and drinking, freaking from the water fountain. So I was like, I want cold water. I was like, where is the store? Which I should have went and got it from the store when I was over there talking to the lady, asking for a freaking microwave. So I didn't. So the point is, Miss Dumbass over here is searching for fucking water. Earlier on, the same lady at the drugstore was like, "Oh yeah, uh, McDonald's stays open until like midnight." I go, I go to fucking McDonald's and it is closed. And I asked them, "Oh, so what time do you guys open?" They're like, "Oh yeah, at four. Okay, I was like, "Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Let me go and um because." at one of those like you know those signs or those billboard signs that tell you you are here and tells you about all like the food and everything those locators is saying that they had a 24 hour store in the terminal so I was like oh so I was like cool I'm gonna go back to the terminal and I'm gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna chill and go to sleep watch some movies and everything's gonna be good right because I've already like made my little home in this spot right here where the freaking massage chair was so i'm cool i'm chilling and then on the way back i see a lounge area okay for i guess people with layup for layovers and i'm like oh okay this is i'm like this is where all the people are because i i kid you not I was the only person next to the gates. There were no, no, there was no other people. So I probably my, that's a good thing because my ass would have been tripping and paranoid and like, oh my God, I'm the only one here. But honestly, you know, I sat there for a little bit before, you know, I even wanted, took this whole trip to go and find some water. I got up right next to the gate. I'm looking out at the freaking, at the, um, at the plane. And I'm just thinking to myself, this is a nice sight this is a really nice sight and it reminds me so much of when I was younger you know what I mean when I was a kid dad military like it made me feel like all right girl you're starting you're starting you're starting you're starting to grow up you're starting to like become a like an like a woman like not an adult but you're because that that does not explain once you're past 
18, you're an adult, you know what I mean? You're starting to form who you really are. You're starting to find really yourself. You're starting to get out there and explore, you know what I mean? It is very, it's empowering to see what you can do as a woman and by yourself, you know what I mean? Doing all this just to provide for your kid and, you know what I mean, to come up like I mean it's really it's crazy um so anyway I went over there as I'm passing by the lounge area I see this guy me dumbass me didn't even know this is the fucking exit and I said oh hey do you know where the 24 hour terminal is and he's like oh um blah 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 oh and now this is the exit so you can't you can't go back in you got to go through the all the way through the front so I go to the vending machine, which is right past where the guy I'm talking to the guy and which is crazy. OK, because I'm like literally two steps past this fucking damn line. Like you really couldn't let me just turn around and go back in. And I'm like, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not even tripping. Fuck it. So go to the vending machine, grab my water, go back up to the beginning of the damn airport where I fucking first started and I look to see where the security is so that way I could go past it again every duh bitch everything is fucking closed it's 8 like their last flight here goes at fucking 8 p.m. and I'm like it's a goddamn fucking terminal you would think that they're going in and out in and out 24 7 it does not work like that over here and I'm just thinking I'm like man in Guam it's like a small ass fucking terminal like you know what I mean I'm thinking back when I was a fucking kid but we like you're in and out like of um uh the airport like it's 24 7 flights like you know it's an airport but so they open back up at 3 3 a.m which is cool i'm gonna go in there at around 3 a.m and shit so it's like in like five hours so it's not even a big thing i'm not tripping but still it's just kind of crazy to think that bitch you were just there and now you're here on the outside but check out this little lounge area guys like this is fucking cool it's like a circle that is fucking cool. I got my own shit to myself. Like penthouse suite type shit. <laughs> this is my this is my reserved round table, bitch. Like all lonely, bitch. I ain't lonely when you got all this. <laughs> like, so okay. This is what the fuck happened at this goddamn thing. Mind you. I'm I told what did I say in my previous video that when I first got here I said I'm gonna go out of my box and just start talking to these people and I'm like bitch no this is exactly why you don't fucking talk to people because